Well, today is a very exciting day because I am on my way up to Brisbane to go pick up my very own four wheel drive. Finally, it's mine to keep forever and I can't wait to show you guys around it. Let's go. I got the keys. Okay, here we go, I see it. I'm gonna cry. Oh my God, I got goosebumps. This is very exciting. How do I unlock it? There's so many keys. All right, are we ready? Oh my gosh. Oh, how do I get in? Hold up. God. Oh my God. I've got my own four wheel drive set up finally. I'm shaking. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Oh my God, now I have to go register my car. And then I'm going up to meet Troy in the Sunshine Coast to show you guys what's gonna happen with it. <laughs> so many buttons. I don't know what they're saying, I need the aircon on, it's so hot. Aircon. Well, I've got no fuel in the car, so that's gonna be my first stop. I don't know where I am for the best, I probably should turn off the aircon. That's not good, getting a car with no fuel in it. So I've just picked up my car and it has below empty petrol <laughs> warning signs flashing at me. The closest petrol station is 14 minutes away. This is not how I pictured picking up my new car. <laughs> Hopefully I make it. Hello. <laughs> what do you reckon? Ah, that's it. <laughs> so we finally made it up to the beautiful glass house mountains. How epic is this backdrop? My car's already been off road trying to get here. It's filthy. It's all part of it. <laughs> so I guess it's about time I show you the big ring. Well, here it is, my Toyota FJ Cruiser. I am a Toyota girl at heart and I just couldn't go past this rig. I have seen them all around the coast. Uh, living on the Gold Coast, this is my daily. So I wanted something that would be, have the capability if I wanted to go around Australia, but also be able to fit into my city everyday life. So Toyota FJ it is. So it's not your stock standard FJ Cruiser. It's got a couple of aftermarket add-ons, which I'll run you through. Uh, we'll start at the front. So it's got the TJM uh, bull bar. It's got light force spotlights and LED strip up the top on the roof racks. It's also got a bash plate underneath with the recovery points. Uh, it's got Mickey Thompson aggressive all-terrain tires on it for all those big adventures I'm gonna get up to this year. And a safari snorkel. So come around to have a look at the side. We've got the rock sliders. Uh, aftermarket suspension, front and rear diff lockers, and we've got some black aloe rims to match my black and white theme. So business at the front, parties at the back. Got the GME UHF aerial. Then inside, that's where my fridge is gonna go. <laughs> so I've got a Boab drawer system in the back. Now it looks like one big drawer, but I've actually got two compartments in here. I fit lots and lots of stuff in there, mainly clothes I'm sure when I hit the road. Uh, and then I've got a dual battery system over in the back here. So I reckon I'll be able to fit a fridge in here very soon. This is your captain speaking. Buckle up for a bumpy ride. We're about to hit the road. Once I figure out how to use all this stuff. <laughs> uh, I've got dual battery controls up here. Oricom UHF, uh, light controls, and a few other buttons that I don't really know how to work yet. I'll figure it out though. Also, how's this for luxury? Got an armrest. Last but not least, up here, I've got a Red Arc trailer brake controller. So there we have it. Just a quick little run around of what I know is on my four wheel drive already. I've already got some ideas of how I want to tinker it. Um, and I'm definitely going to keep on trying to do other types of cars. So don't be disheartened that I'm a Toyota girl. I'm still going to try and get a couple of other cars going on adventures with me. That's it. I hope to see you on the road and get out there and get adventuring.